Okay, hi everyone. Michelle, we're going to do yoga lattes. So you can have socks on, you can be barefoot. Uh, you definitely do not need shoes. Also, if you have a yoga strap or a band, it can be either a connected band or a open band. You can also use a man's tie. You might want to use that to assist you with stretching. Okay, so sit up nice and tall. Cross your legs comfortably. Lengthen your spine. If you prefer, you can also straighten your legs out. You may also, if you have blocks or a couple of pillows to stack, you can sit up on a block or a couple of pillows, which raises your hips a little bit higher and is a com more comfortable position if you have a lot of tightness in your hips. So however you're comfortable, find that seated position. Lift your shoulders to your ears, roll them into your back body, feel your back muscles engage, and then as your shoulders sink down, close your eyes. Take some nice full breaths. In through your nose and out through your mouth. As you continue to breathe, Soften and quiet your breath. Breathing in and out, just through the nose. I always talk about how the breath moves through the body, so you're gonna feel your ribs expand, your belly rise. And as you exhale, everything sinks, contracts, and relaxes. As you inhale, sit taller, feel a string lifting you from the crown of your head. And as you exhale, feel your sit bones ground deeper towards the earth and towards your head. As you release your hands, the right hand goes to the right side, raise the left arm high, bend the right elbow, take it over lateral stretch. Inhale, tall, the left hand goes down, the right arm goes high, take it over, lateral stretch. You're gonna continue back and forth. And as you bend the elbow of the hand that's down, you're going to deepen the stretch. The arm that goes up, try to keep it slightly behind the ear and the head to open you up a little more. Breathe. Continue back and forth, move with your own breath. And then as you go back over to the right, angle your hand back slightly and lean back. So same thing, as you go to the left, the elbow will bend, but the right palm will face you and you'll kind of lean back to get more of a front body stretch. And we do do ab work for the Pilates portion, so it's good to open that up. Sitting tall, press both of your palms back. Clasp your hands behind your back if you'd like. The right ear softly falls to the right shoulder. Roll the chin towards the chest and open behind the neck. And bring the head to center. To the other side, left ear to left shoulder. Roll the chin towards the chest and bring the head back to center. From here, take your fingertips, rest them to your knees and round your spine back into a C curve, which is scooping your belly out. Scoop the belly, lift and sit tall. Shoulders are relaxed. Again, round back into that C curve, breathe. Scoop from the belly and sit tall. Now I'd like you to continue that, but we're gonna bring your feet out in front of you. I'm just gonna turn a little so you have a better visual. Bring the arms in front of you and round back again. Scoop from the belly and come up. If you need a little ball or pillow behind your back, feel free, a little back support. Otherwise you scoop, lift the pelvic floor and come up. And what I mean by that is as you're back here, hold for a moment. 
really tighten from inside and then allow your chest and your upper body to come second. So that engages in those abdominals. From here, you're going to turn to the right. So you're gonna take both of your arms and turn to the right. Your left glute staying down, you're gonna stay on that side. If you'd like, you can also sweep your right arm back and scoop it back up. So two options. You either have bent elbows, fingers together, or bent elbows and scoop, sweeping the right arm back. Let's do two more on that side. Breathe. Again, do whatever position is comfortable for you. Now we're gonna go to the other side. So you're going to go over to the left, scoop and lift. You can also take that left arm back. Scoop and lift. Breathing. Nice, full breaths. Relax your shoulders. Soften your face. Four more here. You might feel your thighs tighten. Try to keep those thighs as relaxed as possible. We will stretch them shortly, so that will help to keep them relaxed. When we return to this half roll back a little later on. So sitting tall, fingertips are behind you, and now take the soles of your feet together. Lengthen the spine, shoulders are down, and then hinge forward with a nice flat back. Your hands can come closer to the glutes. The glutes can also come closer to the heels, hinging further forward, deepening the stretch. As you come to sit tall, we're gonna draw the knees together and come onto your hands and knees. So have your hands underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath your hips. Inhale, head and tail to the ceiling. And exhale, round to cat, chin to the chest. Inhale, head and tail lift to the ceiling. Exhale, round to cat, chin to the chest and hold. Walk the fingers towards the knees. Fairly close to the knees as you round the spine up high. Small rotation, twisting to the left, twisting to the right. Make sure that your belly is scooped up nice and high so that you're getting that stretch into the back, upper shoulders, upper back. Breathe. or center. Inhale, head and tail to the ceiling again for cow. And exhale, round to cat. Curl the toes under, downward dog. Draw the weight back into the heels and pedal the feet. Inhale, bend one knee and exhale, bend the other. Move back and forth gently. Now let your left heel draw to the mat and hold. Head between the arms, inner elbows are forward. Switch, bend the left knee, let the right heel go down and hold. Now both heels will go towards the mat. You'll look to your hands and step or walk forward. Release over the legs. As you inhale, come halfway up, flat back, lightning bolt. As you lower down, bend the knees, put the weight in the heels, and raise the arms to chair, Utkatasana. Press to stand tall, and then exhale to a soft back bend. Support your back if you need, always. Inhale, hands heart center as you exhale. Inhale, you raise again, swan dive, exhale down. And inhale halfway for lightning bolt, flat back. Exhale as you lower and step back to your plank. Now from
down plank, modify if needed with your knees down, have your shoulders over your wrists. From here, lower yourself down however you can comfortably. A little lift of cobra, a higher lift of upward dog. You can also deepen and lift your thighs, tops of the feet stay down. Curl the toes, raise the hips, downward dog. Looking to your hands, step or walk forward. Release over the legs and inhale halfway to the lightning bolt again. Exhale as you lower, bending the knees and raising the arms to chair, holding here, Utkatasana, hands together. Take your left elbow, bring it outside or towards your right knee in twisted chair. Toes are light, tail is back. Back to chair, extend the arms in front of you or up by your ears, a little more challenging. Press from your heels, stand tall. Exhale, soft back in. Inhale, hands heart center, and exhale. Inhale, we raise, swan dive, exhale down. Inhale, halfway, lightning bolt. Exhale, lower, and step back to plank. This time, holding plank, modify with your left knee on the mat, otherwise keep it lifted. Squeezing the left glute, right leg pulses up from the glute. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We put the foot down, squeeze the glute if needed, lower the right knee down, left leg pulses up. Nine, eight, seven, six. Lifting from the glute, leg pull back. Four, abs in, three, two, one, the foot lowers, and you lower all the way down. Again, little lift cobra, higher lift, upward dog. Returning to downward dog. Gazing to your hands, step forward. Release over the legs and inhale, flat back, halfway up. Exhale, lower, bend the knees and raise the arms back to chair. With katasana, hands together. Right elbow outside or towards the left knee, twisted chair. Toes are light, tail is back, arms back to forward, in front of the chest or by the ears, and press to stand tall. Exhale, soft back bend. Inhale, hands heart center, and exhale. Inhale, we raise and swan dive, exhale down. Inhale, halfway, flat back, exhale, lower. Step back to plank pose and hold. Now in plank pose, I'm gonna make sure my left hand's under my left shoulder, and I'm gonna to rotate to the left if needed, putting my left knee down and raising my right arm up in a side plank. I can also have my left knee lifted in a full side plank. I can also come down onto my forearm. From here, I'm gonna come into plank pose, making sure my right hand's under my right shoulder as my heels drop to the right and my left arm lifts, or as I put my right knee down to modify. My abs are in and I'm breathing, lifting up the right underside and the waist. I'll come back to plank and lower down. Upward dog cobra sweeping through. Back to downward dog. The left heel stays to the mat and the right leg lifts high to the ceiling. I'm gonna take my right knee as I bend it and bring it forward right up to my hand. Lifting the chest and energy strong into my back left heel, I breathe. From here, I'm gonna lower that knee, making sure it's way behind me, relax the toes. Top of the foot is down. And if I'm comfortable to deepen, I bring my hands up on my knee. I can also take my arms to the ceiling, interlocking the fingers, but first finger and thumb say send it straight, and I can crescent or lean back. I can keep my hands on the knee is fine. The more that I lift my chest and or lean back, the more I feel a stretch in the front of my left thigh. 
only go to where it's comfortable for your body. Hands down on the mat the whole time is fine. From here, shift your weight back, let your right toes lift and the fingers come towards your body. As your foot flexes, you feel the back of the right leg and hamstring. Turning the foot out in external rotation, feeling a little bit on the medial or inner hamstring. Then turning the foot in to the left, medially rotating and feeling more to the outer hamstring. Different heads on that hamstring. Bringing the toes back up, we're gonna come forward, lower the foot flat. Palms go flat, I'm gonna curl my left toes and lift my knee. Stepping back to my plank pose again. From plank pose, I'm gonna lower down and rest on the belly. Extending my arms in front for swimming. Navel to the spine, legs are slightly apart. Pelvis to the mat. I'm gonna float my legs up from my glutes and start kicking my feet from the glutes. Lifting my elbows, I lift my chest, my hands stay down to modify, my hands lift up, going in opposition. I want to keep my neck long, my shoulders down and relaxed. And as my navel is drawing in, supporting my back, I'm squeezing my glutes as I go through this swimming motion, breathe for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. I'm going to bring my elbows in, relaxing my glutes and lifting my chest up. Either palms will come together or palms can stay down. Legs are together. I'm gonna to keep my knees down, modifying, lift my belly and hips up, forearm plank. I'm gonna lift my knees up, full forearm plank. Hold and breathe. Nice full breaths. I can stay here or I can lift my hips up and down an inch. Again, palms can be together or palms can be down, but the elbows are under the shoulders. The neck is long and the eyes gaze down. I'm breathing. We do not hold the breath. And then we hold without movement, without moving, press through the heels and the crown of the head. Five seconds, resting sooner if needed. I'll lower my knees, lower my belly, hands to the sides of the chest, upward dog cobra, downward dog. Inhale, left leg will raise and the left foot will step forward. Energy strong through the right heel as we switch sides. Fingertips to the mat, chest is up. And then if comfortable, I want to lower my knee down. No pressure on the knee and relaxing the top of that right foot. Fingertips stay on the mat, chest lifts. Watch that your left ankle's under your left knee. You can lift your chest higher, hands on your knee. You can raise your arms up. You can crescent them back. You want to get a stretch in the front of your right thigh. Breathe. Soft face. Now if you brought your chest up, bring your hands back down to the mat. Shift the weight back, straightening out your left leg and flexing the foot. Hands closer to the body, toes towards the head. Turn the foot out to the left, so externally rotate. Feel the inner hamstring. Turn the foot into the right, needly rotate. And feel the outer hamstring. Bring the toes up. And slowly come forward. Curl the back toes under and step to your plank. Holding your plank, abs are in, core is strong.
stay here, modify with the knees down, and shoulder taps side to side. 10, 9, 8, 7, I can do it with my knees down, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one, and again, I'll lower myself down. My arms are to the sides of the body with elbows bent per breast stroke. Once again, gazing down, navel to the spine, pelvis to the mat. Squeezing the glutes, I float my legs up. I'll also float my arms up, keeping them in two right angles. The arms will go forward, the legs will move apart. The arms will swim back and the legs will squeeze together, leading with the heels. Sweeping the arms forward, inhale. Heels joining, squeezing the inner thighs, exhale. Inhale, squeeze the inner thighs and glutes, exhale. Inhale, abs in, exhale. For four, breathing. And three, exhale. Last two, nice full breaths. Last one, and hold. From here, make a pillow with your hands, turning the heels in, toes out. Heel beats, start to click those heels together and try and get your thighs up high. Keep your head down on your hands. You're going to click your feet faster than my count, so it's a very quick click of the heels, squeezing the glutes. 12, 11, 10, 9, lift the thighs higher. 5, 4, 3, 2, and we'll release down. Head stays down, rocking the hips softly back and forth. I can bend the knees and bring the heels closer to my glutes with my legs a little further apart. And windshield wiper the legs back and forth. Get a little bit of a deeper stretch through the lower back. From here, legs will join. I'm going to extend them out. My left arm is going to extend out in front of me, and I'm going to roll on to my left side. My abs are in. My feet are stacked. I'm going to feel like I'm compressed front to back, a board behind and in front of me, pulling my belly in. And as I flex my feet and press through my heels, I should be able to slide my fingers underneath my left underside, my left ribs, and that's your mouse house. My right hand can stay on the mat for balance. It can also raise up to the ceiling for a little bit more control with the abdominals, a little more core work. Flexing your feet, you're going to raise your legs together up and down. Lift and lower. Now you're gonna continue with this squeezing the right oblique, but if I want, my hands can rest and I can lift my head up and kind of slide my left hand closer to me, getting a little higher lift and deeper work into the oblique. I have four more here, four, abs are in, three, I'm controlling, two, Rolling a little bit back on the glute if needed. Then I'm gonna hold it down. From here, again, my hand can be in front on my hip or up to the ceiling. I'm gonna rest my bottom leg. I can softly bend the knee, but I'm gonna take my top leg forward for two counts, back squeeze the glute for two counts. So it's pulse two, back two. Inhale two, exhale two. Inhale two, exhale two. For six, 
When your leg goes forward, do not let your hip roll forward. Keep your hip back. You have four. And back for two. Three. Back for two. Two. Back for two. Last two pulses forward and pulses back, and now pull the leg right over the bottom leg and circles forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and circles back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and I'm gonna rest and roll back onto my glute. My hand can stay extended or come down a little bit more towards my body. Then I'm gonna raise my top leg, lift my chest. If I can, I'm gonna raise both of my legs and continue for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Breathing, five, four, three, two, and one. I'll release down, reach that arm over my head to stretch, and then roll prone onto my belly. Hands to the sides of the chest. Inhale, little lift of cobra, higher lift of upward dog. Curl the toes, downward dog. Inhale, left leg towards the ceiling. Exhale, left foot forward. Both heels are flat. Straighten out your left leg for triangle pose. A block can be outside or inside the foot or left hand on the shin. Right hand on your hip, open your chest. Right arm to the ceiling, open your chest. The weight pushes to the outer back, right foot, breathe. Looking down towards your left foot, both legs straight, inhale up, hold here, roll the shoulders back, turn the palms up. Now keep the shoulders back, turn just the palms down, gaze over the left middle finger and bend the left knee for warrior two. Your right hand going back onto your right thigh, your left arm going high, reverse or peaceful warrior, taking it back. Breathe. Inhaling and windmill around, take your right hand down inside of your left foot. Lift your left heel, right hand, excuse me, lift your right heel, left hand on your left knee or up to the ceiling turning towards the left knee. I want you to bring your left hand down inside of the foot and then pivot your body straight. Check your feet out, get them even. Push the weight to the outer part of the foot towards the pinky toe. Fingertips to the mat, lift the head and chest, gaze up. As you gaze back down, Drop your head down and maybe take your arms behind you underneath your body. Breathe. Bring your hands back in front of you. Walk over to the left leg. You're gonna put your hand behind your left leg, lift your chest off of your thigh, and then pull down over that leg, keeping the weight in the heel and feeling the left hamstring. You can slightly bend the knee if needed. Coming through the middle and over to the right. Right hand behind the right leg, chest lifts off of the thigh. Bend the elbow and pull the chest down towards the thigh. I did not mention, but you can always take that left hand across or opposite hand across and pull down a little deeper. You can also bend that knee if you need.
coming back to center. I want you to turn and pivot your right foot. So your right toes turn out, left foot is out, and triangle pose on this side. Move your block if needed to the right side, inside or outside the foot or on the shin. Left hand on the hip and or up to the ceiling. Triangle pose. Pull the shoulder back and the weight presses to the outer left foot you breathe. You're facing the other direction. Pull the abs in, legs are straight. Up you come. As you stand tall, your wrists are in line with your ankles. Roll the shoulders back, expand through the chest. Keep the shoulders back, turn the palms down. Gaze over your right middle finger and bend your right knee, keeping the weight pressing to the outer left foot for warrior two. Externally rotating in your hips. Left hand to the back, left thigh, right arm high. Exhale, take it back, reverse or peaceful warrior breathe. Inhale, you come up, windmilling around. So your left hand goes inside of the foot, right hand outside, lift up the heel. From this position, you're going to now step your right foot back and slowly lower to the mat. As you lower to the mat, the right arm extends and you roll on to that side. So now we're on the other side. We have that board in front and behind us, compressing, pulling the abs in, our heads rested. Feet are flexed, we're pressing through the heels. We're lifting up the right underside and creating our mouse house. Fingertips can be on the mat or up to the ceiling or hands on the hip. We're going to raise both of the legs up and down. So now I did tell you before, you can also take your hand rested on your thigh, on your hip, slide up and pull the right arm in. Squeezing up into the left oblique and reaching through the heels. Breathe. Exhale, we raise and inhale, we lower. If needed, rolling a little bit back to the glute so there's no discomfort in the hip. You have three, exhale up for two, last one. You'll rest down, you can bend your bottom knee. Again, that top hand can be in front of you for support or up at the ceiling, but we're gonna take the top leg, kick forward for pulse two, back, pulse two. Inhale forward, exhale back. When you go forward, make sure that that left hip stays back and does not roll forward. Hips are stacked. Breathing, inhale for two. Squeeze the glute, exhale back two. Inhale two, exhale back for two. Abs in for four, and back. Breathing three and back, last two, and back, final one, little side leg, Pilates here, and then hold it in circles, forward, reaching, and back, Abs are in. Now we're gonna hold, extend both legs, roll back towards the glute and take that right arm in front of you for a little more balance. You can raise just the top leg or both of the legs, lift and lower. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last two, final one, and rest, bring the arm over the head, 
and stretch. From here, you're gonna slide that arm in front of you, bring your knees forward, and gently come to sit. Now, as you sit, we're going back to that half rollback. So bring the feet in front of you, arms are up. We're gonna round back in the C curve, possibly lifting the right leg. Come up and lowering the foot. Then back, possibly lifting the left leg. The knee is bent and in table. And we'll keep alternating, or we'll keep both feet down the whole time and go into the rollback. Otherwise, you're alternating, shoulders are relaxed, the thighs are stretched now, the hip flexors are stretched, so it should be a little more comfortable not tightening your thighs so much. You have four, breathing, three, abs are in, two, with control, last one. Now sitting tall, maybe move your glutes a little bit towards your heels and you're gonna roll all the way down. Taking your feet off of the mat and feet in line with the knees, knees are in table. Stomach series, fingertips behind the head. Picture a heavy weight on your belly, imprinting your spine, head, neck, and shoulders lift. You're gonna extend your left leg, pulse it out as the right knee pulses towards you. Then you're gonna switch, left knee pulses towards you, right leg pulses out. If you do not need to hold on to your head, you do not feel straining in the neck, then you can hold on to the shin or the ankle. If you feel any straining in your neck at all, please put your hands behind your head or you can use a pillow or a ball for eight, Abs in for seven, six, five, single straight leg, four, three, oh, excuse me, single leg stretch, two. Now we go to single straight leg, hold, left leg to the ceiling, one pulse is down, the other pulse is in. Reach as high as you can, hands can be behind the head if you need. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Just make sure you're breathing. Don't worry if the breathing is the inhale twice, exhale twice. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Or just breathing comfortably without holding the breath. Keeping your abs in for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both legs to the ceiling and lower the head down. Hands to the sides of your body, lifting your hips or your tail, slide your first finger and thumb underneath, keeping your head down. Pilates V, wrap through the back of the thighs to point or flex. Legs are right over the hips, the right leg lowers, and then you raise it, and then the left leg lowers. Only lower to the degree that your back does not lift or arch. If you're comfortable to lift your head, hands would go behind your head, your head would lift, supported by your hands and you would continue. And if you wanna take it another step higher, instead of alternating, you would do both legs together. Zipping from the belly to lift, it's the exhaling and zipping up that is going to work those abdominals. You have six, Relax your neck and head. Five, alternate legs if you need. Four, breathing. Three, scooping. Two, last one. And the legs stay high. And if you lifted your head, lower it down. Arms will rest to the sides of the body, not underneath the hips. Heels stay together, we draw a small circle. Go left, come down, come up, hip lift at the top. Notice I could do a tiny little baby circle or I could go rolling down towards my left, rounding out at the bottom and then coming up the right hip. Reversing, going down the right hip, around and coming up the left hip. Keep going, whatever size circle, 
works for your body, breathe. For four, scoop and lift. Three, back stays down. You could do a little baby circle. Last time. And you're gonna bend the knees and place the feet to the mat. Arms are to the sides of the body, you inhale. Curl your tail, exhale, raise your hips up. Holding here, we go to marching. Keep your hips steady and lift. Left knee and right knee. Same as you did in the half roll down before. Keeping the hips as steady as possible. For eight, seven, abs in, shoulders relax, six. Breathing for five, four, three, controlling, two, last one, and slowly articulate down, one vertebra at a time. From here, take both of the knees, hug them gently into the chest, circle the knees around, massage your tailbone and sacrum, and change direction. We always come up from a lying position in a roll up, but that doesn't work for everybody. So you can come up however you need, go with some half roll backs. Otherwise, arms over the head or to your sides. Inhale the arms up, scoop the belly. Exhale up and reach over the legs. Sit tall, lengthen the spine. And one vertebra at a time, slowly lower back down. The going down is just as important as the rolling up. Inhale, scoop the belly. Exhale up and reach forward. Sit tall and roll back. You're gonna do four more, but remember you can do these half roll backs to modify and strengthen the core. And then maybe at some point you'll do a full roll up, maybe not. Those of you doing the full roll ups, continue through. Breathing. When you come up from that last roll up, sit up tall for me, and you're gonna come back to your hands and knees. Curling the toes for downward dog, and then raising your left leg towards the ceiling. As you exhale, scoop the belly round the spine, nose to the knee, Inhale, extend back. Do it again, exhale, scoop round. Inhale back, continue. Four more, I can also do this, keeping my right knee on the mat. Exhale, and inhale, or I have my right knee off the mat. Exhale, and inhale. Now my left knee will come up and I'll rest for pigeon. Extending long in the back right leg, chest lifts. If this bothers my left knee, I can sit the hip down and move the foot forward, take pressure off of the knee. It's another way to deepen as well. Leaning a little to the right, making sure the right leg is straight behind me. If I like, I can lower my chest down. Making a gentle fist with my left hand and then resting my right hand on top in a fist. Forehead can rest to the hands. Breathing. Third eye resting. And as I'm leaning a little bit to the right, I'm feeling that left glute stretch. And then from here, I'll lift my chest up, curl the back toes under, 
the left V will come towards my chest, scooping and rounding my spine, then extending my leg to the ceiling in three leg dog. Placing the foot down, inhale, I'll raise my right leg, modify left knee down, exhale, scoop, belly in, knee under, round the spine, and inhale, switching sides. Exhale, scoop and under, and inhale back. Abs in for four, breathing. Exhale, scoop under for three, extending back. Scooping for two. And then on the last one, you're going to bring it all the way up and rest the knee between the hands. Extending long in the left leg, chest is lifted. Same as the other side, if it bothers your right knee, sit your hip down, move your leg forward. Leaning my weight a little more to the left, making and sure my Left foot is flat and I'm really reaching long in that leg. I can lower down, making a fist with my right hand, left hand on top, and third eye again, resting forehead to the hands. I'll continue to reach and lengthen back in my left leg, stretching now in my right glute as I lean slightly to the left. Breathing. From here, I'll lift the chest up. And as I lift up, instead of coming all the way up, I'm going to sit my glute down so my right glute sits down. And then I'm gonna take my left leg, bring it around, and either sit the ankle in front of the right shin or cross the leg over. Bringing my chest right up against the thigh. My left hand behind my right arm lifts high to the ceiling and I'll turn to the left as I exhale. I can hug my knee. I can take my elbow outside of the knee. I can hold on to my foot, rotating. Looking back over the shoulder and breathe. Continue to look back over that shoulder. Nice full breaths. Coming back to the front, I'm going to change the cross of my legs, straightening, stretching out if I need. So my left heel is under and by my right glute. My right heel is in line with the shin. I'm gonna bring my chest up close to my thigh with my right hand behind. My left arm will lift high as I inhale and I'll rotate and turn to the right. Again, I can hug the knee. The elbow can come outside of the knee. I can hold on to the foot. I try to keep my back right palm down. Shoulders relax. Inhale, lift tall. Exhale, rotate to the right to deepen. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate to the right to deepen and maybe look back over the right shoulder. As I come back to the front, I'll extend both of my legs in front of me, separating them to about the width of the mat, flexing the feet for the saw, sitting tall, turning right, Left hand comes outside the left, uh, right pinky toe, right palm to the ceiling behind me. Inhale, sit tall, arms parallel, rotating to the left, right pinky towards the left pinky toe, left palm to the ceiling behind me, and back to center. I picture a big ball in front of me, so I'm rounding over my leg, not bringing my chest to my thigh, shoulders relaxed, and we go tempo, twist. Reach, lift, center, twist. Reach, lift, center, eight. Reach, lift, center, seven. Reach, lift, center, six. Reach, lift, center, 
five, reach, lift, center, four, reach, lift, center, three, reach, lift, center, last two, abs in, lift, center, last one, and reach, lift, and center. Draw the legs in nice and easy. Come up to the front of your mat, glutes towards your heels, and slowly descend onto your backs again. As you come onto the back, you're gonna extend the arms out to the sides and open the feet to the width of your mat. Windshield wiper the legs back and forth, side to side. Gently opening in the hips. Even amount to each side. And then I'll center my knees back up towards the ceiling. Bringing my feet so they're hip width apart and my heels are close to my glutes, arms are to the sides I inhale. Pressing from my heels, I'm going to lift and reach the arms over my head. Inhaling at the top, as I exhale, I'm gonna come back down, rolling through my spine, upper back, middle back, lower back, finally tail. Arms will rest, using my abs to raise and lower. Inhale, curl the tail, exhale, raise all the way up. Inhale at the top, exhale, slowly articulate down, one vertebra at a time. Inhale, prepare, exhale, all the way up. Inhale at the top, exhale, slowly articulate down. The arms will stay rested. Inhale, I'll prepare. Exhale, I'll raise the hips up and hold, kind of rolling side to side to tuck the shoulders under my body and then either clasp my hands or maybe my heels are close enough that I could reach for my heels. I can also kind of lift my hips up with my hands. I want to expand across my chest. Make sure the back of my neck is long and my chin is relaxed. Nice full breaths. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose. Breathing. So stretching through the abdominals that you worked. Now if you're holding your heels or clasping your hands, gently release from wherever you're holding. Unroll the shoulders one at a time slowly and then articulate down gently one vertebra at a time. Once you've rested all the way down, take those knees and again hug them into your chest. Soften the rock side to side. So we're going to get ourselves comfortable here for a little bit of relaxation. If you have crankiness in your lower back, place your feet on the mat, keeping your knees bent. You can also extend your legs and place a pillow behind the backs of the knees. If you do not have crankiness in your lower back, May extend the legs out and let the knees and feet softly fall apart. And again, put that pillow behind the backs of the knees if you have, it's very comfortable. You're going to kind of fidget and adjust through your shoulders and your upper body and then allow your arms to relax to the sides of the body, turning the palms to the ceiling. Wiggle through the fingers and the toes. And then inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth and allow everything to release. I want you to continue to breathe, softening your breath, in and out, just through your nose.
Relaxing the muscles in your face. Around your eyes. Your cheekbones. And your jaw. As you allow your facial muscles to soften and relax, you let go through your shoulders. Down your arms. Past your elbows. into your wrists, hands, and fingers. Feeling the belly rise and fall softly. The ribs expand and contract gently. Letting go through your hips and down your legs, into your ankles, into your feet. In this crazy time that we're in right now, traffic is gone, gas is affordable, bills are extended. Kids are at home with their families, parents are home taking care of their children. Fast food is replaced by home cooked meals and hectic schedules can be replaced with naps, rest and relaxation. The air seems cleaner, the world is quieter. People are conscious about hygiene and health. Money doesn't seem to make the world go round anymore. Doctors and nurses are being praised and recognized instead of athletes and celebrities. We now have time finally to stop and smell the roses. The positive side above all. Letting us know we needed to slow down, take care of our bodies, our families, and the world. Begin to wiggle through the fingers and the toes. Moving slowly in the arms and the legs. And as you feel comfortable, taking the knees one at a time into the chest. As you roll to your right side in fetal pose, feeling refreshed 
renewed and lengthened, strengthened, making your way to your seated position, sitting tall with your chest lifted, your heart open, sitting however is comfortable for you. If again, it's up on pillows or a block or legs extended, the hands resting to the knees. As the arms rest to the sides of the body, inhaling, raising the arms above the head, joining the palms together and exhaling to lower the hands to heart center and now softly forward to the essence of yoga within you. Thank you for taking me on your yoga journey and I wish you peace and joy in your many journeys ahead. Wherever they may lead you as you stay safe and healthy and take this time for yourself discover, explore, until our paths meet again, namaste. Thank you very much for joining me, and we'll see you next time.